Welcome to 28 Days and Beyond. Where we talk about our history, our heritage, and our culture. I'm Amari. I'm Charisma. Welcome back. Hi, Amari. What's going on? I'm good. It's a very Prince-inspired uh, ensemble today. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's yes, it. That's right. it. feeling very purple rain. Exactly. Feel that's... the vibes, feel the vibes. <laughs> I actually was in, um, uh, I had an opportunity to, to shoot a documentary at Paisley Park. Really? Yeah, a couple months back. It was pretty dope. Oh, it was just a couple months ago. So Prince was Prince was not there no. in the physical form. I, but it was like you could feel him there. He was still there. Crazy. Exactly. I was like, ooh, yeah. I got gooseies. Yes. <laughs> gooseies, right. Yes, yes. goosebumps. That's what's up. Are we talking about gooseies today? We are not. Okay. We are talking cool. about health and wellness in, in various forms. But right. just the importance of, of uh, knowing what you're putting into your body, knowing what you're putting on your body, being aware of, of products and the mm. ingredients and all of those things because, you know, there's a lot, if you don't pay attention, yeah. that you could be consuming that's that's poisonous to you, your body. Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, obviously the primary, well, no, not primary, but one of the main things would be food because, I mean, even just the air itself oh, yeah. is, is, you know, got some toxins and such in them. Did you know mm -hmm. that one of my favorite childhood cereals, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, yeah. Someone told me that there's an ingredient in it that is also an ingredient in rat poison. Oh, nice. I'm still doing research to see whether like that's true or not. And you're still eating cinnamon no, toast crunch. No, I have it. No, just because I'm yeah. like, whoa, that's that's scary. But I was at the uh, I went to the grocery store earlier today. Did you? Yes, the produce section, and okay. it was it was like a, a produce, it's a produce, a special produce place. Okay. The food is mad cheap. And I was thinking, that's like, surprising, actually. Yeah, but I was, but exa and I was like, well, what exactly is the quality of this food in terms of like, oh, you know, obviously it's not organic. You know what I mean? How, who knows what kind of pesticides or, or whatever have you is on it? Mm -hmm. And it's to the point where, like, you know, a lot of these major companies have agreements with the government where they kind of get a pass. They don't have to reveal how much, yeah, uh, you know, pesticides they <laughs> use, how dangerous it really could be for us, and we're just consuming it. And, yeah. and um. Uh, because they need to mass produce for the millions of people who, you know, live in this country, um, yeah. we're finding that, you know, in order to make sure to be able to, to meet the demand, they have to put all these Additives, toxins, preservatives, all kinds of, all kind of filthiness. Stuff. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy because I was, um, I'm not going to say where I was, but it was a, a pizza place and uh, more like a high-end pizza place. But mm, in any event, me, they right. had, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know how I do. Yeah. But they had like a little sign and in front of it, it said, it said, um, most of our products are non-GMO. Most. But that, like most, yeah. it just, it stood yeah, out yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, like yeah. a, just a shining. But genetically modified, I mean, that could be anything. Some would say that carrots are genetically modified. I've right? heard this. You know what I'm saying? Like all that sort of thing. But hey, that's what I'm saying. No one really knows what the heck we're eating. Yeah. No one knows what, what kind of air we're breathing. No one knows, no one knows what's in the water that we're drinking. Yeah. And these are all things that we're consuming. And I mean, they may not cause immediate problems, but are, is that related to, you know, the astronomical cancer levels or... We don't you know. know. Exactly. And in addition to what we're putting in our body, yeah. we should be talking about what we're putting on our body. Of course. Which brings me to our guest today. Okay, okay. Valerie Barbour is coming today and she's talking about her line, Val Essence, which mm -hmm. is all natural. And I've used it and it's incredible. All right. Like, just skin feeling like silk and stuff. She got my beard on my way. See, because I'm trying to join the Philly beard gang, so... I'm as long as you don't dye it red, we'll be good. No, 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 we'll be all right. We'll, be, we gotta worry about it. <laughs> well, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, we'll be talking all about health, wellness, and valescence. We'll be back with more 28 Days and Beyond right after this. Welcome back to 28 Days and Beyond. We are now joined by the lovely Valerie Barbour. Hello. Valescence. Thank you. Is here in studio. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so tell the folks out there a little bit about you and your lovely product. Well, um, I started Valescence, I would say, about seven years ago because I had gone natural as far as the hair was concerned. I got tired of putting perms in there all the time. Mm -hmm. Hair was falling out around the sides. And um, I've always been a very creative person. Yeah. I would make cr scrubs for Christmas presents and things like that. But then I delved into it a little bit further. And I was a, um, a certain product user for a long time for <laughs> my soap. We're not gonna, okay. We're and not gonna say, when I read no, the okay. list of ingredients that were in the soap, you have to Google half of them. You mm. need an encyclopedia for most of them. You have to be a language expert for the majority <laughs> of them also because they're, they're monosyllabic. It's amazing the um, 
what they put in what we use. Mm -hmm. And 64% of our environment is absorbed through the skin. 100% of what we put on our bodies is absorbed through our armpits mm -hmm. and from our private areas, 100%. Wow. And uh, that gave me cause for pause. Mm -hmm. So I started looking into some things to make on my own especially when it came to my grandchildren because they have very sensitive skin they break mm -hmm. out like that and I'm a little on the vain side <laughs> and I want to continue to look as young as I possibly can using as less as I possibly can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's when I came up with um some of the things that we have right here I thought valescence you know, it's the essence of Valerie. It's, it's, it's got a certain, got a nice yeah, ring je ne sais quoi, you see what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> you'll see, you'll French? see. You're busting out the French? But I did start out with my, I started out with my creams. Okay. My creams are very, very good. And when you look at some of the ingredients here, it takes up three lines. Mm. Shea butter, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, aloe vera juice, vitamin E oil. But I always add an essential oil. An essential oil, something that is going to be good for what you have, be it um, eczema, psoriasis, mm -hmm. um, if you just happen to be a little ashy, <laughs> well, which we can be sometimes. Now. And it's winter, so. It's winter, yeah. that and makes it it's difficult. very important to stay nice and soft. Yes, it is. Really. But I also delved into the soaps, too. And at first, I have to tell you, I did the melt and pour soaps. Okay. Because it was easy, and I could, like, jazz it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I felt like I was, I felt cheated. Okay. Because I'm saying, this is not how they used to do it back in mom and dad's <laughs> day. You know, the pioneers with the buckets and everything mm -hmm. like that. that. Right. So I, I was afraid of the lie. Because also, I don't care what they say, lie is part of the equation. Mm -hmm. So I would, um, I got my goggles and my gloves and my, my, my glasses and my Are face mask. Are there pictures mask. of this? I oh. feel like I would love to see this. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping I wouldn't scare my neighbors. <laughs> Because you have to do it outside in open air with a lie. They think you were but the like way, doing something with a meth lab or something. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, right. <laughs> I said, oh Breaking my gosh, bad. I hope they don't think Breaking I have a meth lab moment. over here. Yeah. Oh goodness. But it turned out well because now most of them are customers. Nice. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, so, so that's how you got into this, this Th form of soap. That's how I got into this kind of soap. And to tell you the truth, instead of me doing it really the old fashioned way, with, they cure it from four to eight weeks. Oh wow. I do mine in a crock pot and it's done within <laughs> two days. <laughs> Because you because technology yeah. technology and all of that is called the saponification process. Say that one more time. Saponification. There it is. Saponification. Yes, That's indeed. What's up. I'm learning things. And yeah, yeah, um, yeah. oh, remember I said about the um the armpits and whatnot. Yeah, certainly. I do natural deodorants too, See? which yep. is very very natural good. Oil. And lemongrass and rosemary are very good as far as um odor control. Mm. Um, it's not really good to use um antiperspirants. Mm -hmm because we need the sweat you know the toxins need some kind of way to get out of our bodies this is one way to do it because i also use bentonite clay a natural clay mm -hmm. um, it comes from volcanic ash and it draws toxins from out of your body mm. and this is very very popular i have to admit but um awesome. i did drop off a little bit of beard oil to he yeah. was telling yeah. us, mm -hmm. and I was wondering mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if Beer he gang. had tried it. I, I did, I did. It was did nice you? enough. That's why he's shining. <laughs> okay. That's why he's shining today. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, 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 it was great. Oh. Uh, we want to talk more with you about this and some other things in terms of you know health and, and well-being. Sure. Uh, when we come back on Twenty Eight Days and Beyond. Welcome back on Twenty Eight Days and Beyond. We're here with Valerie Barbour of Val Essence, and I'm over here checking out some of the. Would you say this was Himalayan sea salt soap? Exactly. And it draws right. out the toxins. Yes, it does. So here's what I wanted to ask you about, because you had mentioned the, uh, the the deodorant. So I've been using natural deodorant for maybe about 10 years now. Oh, cool. I started when I was living in Texas uh -huh. with the with the uh, the salt. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, that about? crystal it's, it's rock? It's a crystal, crystal salt, right. Yes. And um, it didn't reduce the funk, if I may say so, because, uh -huh. you know, you know, because we keep it real in 28 days. Exactly. But I mean, I was living in Texas, you know. And it's really hot. One of the things I found with natural deodorants is that I have to kind of switch them every few weeks. So mm -hmm. they'll start, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll stop to work. I switch it to another one for a few mm -hmm. weeks. I come back, it'll work. Yeah. But I wanted to ask you, because one of the things I heard is that uh, deodorant, regular antiperspirant deodorant, mm -hmm. uh, has been linked to breast cancer. Yes, it mm -hmm. has. The chemicals in the antiperspirants, you figure 
And it, like I said, 100% yeah. is absorbed up under the arms, goes right into your lymph nodes. Mm. You and know? they were saying because women wear bras, it kind of isolates it in that It point. certainly does. It wow. keeps it right there. It's so scary. It is extremely scary. It's extremely like scary. Every day. And as far as like your deodorant giving out, like every three or so months, same thing with me. All right, all right. Same thing with me. I would have to change up one of the oils that I put in here. Mm. The rosemary is good as far as um, not necessarily masking the deodorant, masking the funk, but it's a lovely fragrance. Mm. And it's not feminine or masculine. It's, it's just nice. And the lemongrass does the very, very same thing. But I tried to make something that is more geared to men in mm. some of the, the scents that I create too. Mm. Um, but even some of the guys like the rosemary. Here, why don't you give it a shot? Let me give it a shot. Right. Give, it a, give, it, a give it a whiff, Amari. Yes, please. Well, uh, while uh, he's sniffing, I will say, um, although ooh, I am heavenly. biased. You like biased. it? <laughs> oh, goodness. Rosemary and lemongrass. You can actually smell the rosemary and the lemongrass. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. yep. Oh, that lemon. See, I cook with lemongrass, too. Oh. Like I, I love cooking. It just Excellent. it adds such a nice flavor to everything. But um, yeah. that's one of the things. See, he wants another whip. Mm -hmm. He can't get yeah. it. Uh, but one of the things, you know, that a lot of people look for in terms of uh, products that they're going to put on their skin are scents, yes. you know, and that's one of the things that, that uh, drew me to uh, Valescence. I am biased because I've known this lovely lady my entire life. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. if I hadn't, you know, it makes my skin feel amazing. And the scents are ridiculous like they smell so good and you're like smelling good all day your skin feels and so you just walk around just talking i do it, i just do this all just day like this yeah <laughs> like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> that's a commercial oh right? my god exactly. right. psas but, um, but how do what? you go about you know deciding what what sense you're going to focus it on it depends on the type of soap if i want to do something that's just going to just really just clean you, mm -hmm. I'll go for something fresh. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll go for something fresh. I, I try not to use fragrance oils because mm -hmm. they're synthetically manufactured. I try to use essential oils mm -hmm. because it comes from either roots or the tree or the, the leaves or, or whatever is on there. And um, s sometimes they can be a little pricey, but you don't really need that much because it's almost like you just want a little, you know, a little hint of, of what the smell is. Mm -hmm. But I have to tell you, um, antioxidants, that's a big thing that's out right now. Mm -hmm. Not only to eat, but also to put on your skin too. They tell you to eat blueberries. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very, very good. You have to really take care of your, your insides, but the same thing can go for your skin. This right here is pomegranate citrus. It's a facial scrub. It looks um, really pretty too. And the yes. thing is, is that on the real tip, you could eat this. Well, that's what they say. Anything you put on your skin, you, you should, should be able, be able to, to eat. Yes. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. You could eat anything up there. I wouldn't advise the soap unless, unless you've been, you know, saying some bad words or something I'm, I'm like that. I'm having flashbacks now of childhood. But I, I tell you, I really, really, I, I do well with the pomegranate for the face because the, um, the granules that I use of this particular butter, it's a um, coconut flower blossom sugar. Okay. It's very fine. Um, body scrubs, I use... Mostly like a grainy sugar or the raw exfoliate. cane sugar, yeah. sort of really exfoliate. And, and it keeps you really, sweet. Keep, yes, mm -hmm. it keeps you sweet, mm -hmm. keep you soft. Well, we loved having you today. <laughs> Thank Unfortunately, you so very, very we're running much. out of time, but before you go, Word. can you please tell folks where they can actually go to support Valescence and to get some of this luxurious yeah. skincare? Oh, sure. You can. Or beard care. Or uh, beard care. Yes. Let's you get can a visit Valescent Skin on Facebook. So that's www.valescentskin. <laughs> there you go. All right. Yeah. Facebook? Don't yes, on that. Facebook. All right, awesome. And I'm also on Pinterest under Nana Val. Aww. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us and for bringing this lovely Valescence. My pleasure. Thank we'll be you back for with more me. 28 Days and Beyond right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to 28 Days and Beyond. Charisma. Yes. Valescence. Valescence. So seriously, you've been using that for, for a while? Yeah. That's what's it, up. Like, I love it. I love um, the scrubs. Like, I saw a major, major, major difference in the way my skin felt once how, I started using those How products. does it, how does it come, okay, so it, I mean, it, 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 it stacks up against the competition. Absolutely. And you know, sometimes I think, unfortunately, um, people have their own views and opinions about, like, 
things that are all natural, mm -hmm. particularly like deodorant. Like when people start, oh, here we go, mm -hmm. coming over here musty. with the natural oh, deodorant. Musty, like uh, yeah. it's gonna be a funky situation yeah, exactly, today, you know. Yeah. So there are a lot of Is stigmas. That how people talk? I don't know. Okay, that was like it. my <laughs> mocking tone. I don't know where I pulled that from, but just roll with it. Right, right I'm with you. Um, no, but seriously, there are, you know, a lot of stigmas as it pertains to that. But I think once people really start to realize and be more conscious of what they're putting in their bodies exactly. and on their bodies and what's being absorbed and, you know, particularly here in America, I, I feel like everyone's very focused on the here and now, but no one's really thinking about long term. years and years later what all of these things that we've consumed in one way or another are going to do to our bodies. You but only I, get one. Yo, I know uh, that um, uh, basically for about the past 20 years, mm -hmm. you know, we've seen an increase in like you know, natural lifestyle to the point where it's very common to go to fast food restaurants and see vegetarian options. So that's mm -hmm. sort of becoming more in, in, in the, mm -hmm. the realm of, you know, comprehension of most people in the country. Um, but I think that there's still like, yo, that to me is one of the, the points that, that Val made was, you know, you need to be, a, you should be able to eat it, yeah. you know, and how much stuff, we don't know what this is, all these, you know, long words and so on, we don't know what we're actually putting on our body, and if, mm -hmm. our, and, and if, that's, if that's absorbing it into our system, mm -hmm. what is going to be the long-term, uh, you know, uh, effects, complications like, yeah, or, or effects associated with that? So that's certainly something that's really important. For sure. I, I don't know how many people are as anal as I am as it pertains to like reading ingredients and in, in certain things, but I've really started to make it a point to Word. pay attention to like, okay. Even, and it started for me, my dad got sick and you know, we had to lower the amount of sodium he was taking in. We had to lower right. certain things. So I started reading the labels for those reasons. And then once I started doing that, it was a little bit easier to really, you know, take that kind of habit with me as so, I was looking to figure out other things that I was going to purchase. Yeah. You should be aware about you know, it. One of, the, one of the things that I think is really encouraging is that, you know, here we have a product that, or a line of products mm -hmm. that uh, are natural. They're good for us. All natural. They, they smell good. And they, smell and they worked. And they work. And they work. They, they work. You know what I mean? Exactly. They, Currently. I mean, that's important because, you know, sometimes you pay an extra, you know, $12, $13 for something in the in the. And that's the, the other thing that Val didn't know. They are affordable. That's the one thing yep. she didn't get a exactly. chance to talk about. Like, yep. I, when I first started, you know, finding out about it and I'm looking and I'm looking at the prices and I'm like, is this the friends and family discount or is this like. And, that's and it. it was just, and that's that was it. the price. So yeah, yeah. you get to be healthier and, and, and conscious and spend not an arm and a leg exactly. you get to keep your appendages it's great exactly i hope uh <laughs> and i hope people check her out on facebook yes. and 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 you know support her yes foul lessons uh, foul lessons <laughs> this has been another episode of 28 days and beyond where we talk about our history our heritage and our culture we'll see you next week